first off, I'll admit, I'm one of those people who had a morbid fascination with the topic of Dogman. I used to spend hours online in Facebook groups, Reddit groups, and that all came to a halt when my wife made me listen to Dog Waters. And made is the correct term to use because I refused to listen. It was two years ago. He's on one of those interviews. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. And he starts to talk about the demonic side of dogman encounters. It's open lines. My wife decides to call in the show and start telling our business. Long story short, the next thing you know, I'm talking to Dog Waters himself. Understand, in my Facebook groups and Reddit groups, this man was like the 50 cent of the dogman community. But the conversation was amazing. I felt like I had known the dude for years. And that's exactly why you get to hear my family's dogman encounter. And more specifically, why I'm trying to kill dogman. My dogman encounter was horrific. Not only because it happened the weekend of my birthday, but also because our family dog Zeus died protecting us. Real quickly, most guys for the birthday want to sit back, watch a football game, and hang out and chill. But not me. I'm an outdoorsman. So for my birthday, I wanted my family to go hiking. That's how we ended up in Davy Crockett National Forest. My wife, my son Cameron, who's four years old, and my dog Zeus. Now, the weather forecast for that particular day showed the threat of thunderstorms. However, those storms weren't supposed to roll in until about 3.30 that evening. So we get out there early in the morning, hang out, then go for a hike. We're headed back in right at about 3.45 working our way down this slope towards where we parked our vehicle. And I still remember the smell of moisture in the air mixing in with the fresh scent of being outdoors. Like I said, we're slowly walking down this slope and at this particular point, the trail is extremely narrow. My wife is directly in front of me about 20 yards away. My son Cameron is up on my shoulders and our dog Zeus is right behind me. Understand the situation. We're coming down a ridge where there are trees back behind us at the top. And looking down that trail about 90 yards away, everything flattens out and opens up. And our vehicle is about 20 yards beyond that. So like I said, we were walking. And I noticed that Zeus starts to growl. Looking over my shoulder, I don't see anything, so I keep going. About 10 paces later, not only is Zeus growling, but he's barking aggressively. So I turn around to see what the hell is going on, only to realize that Zeus has now started working himself back up the ridge, and he's about 50 feet away from me, barking, growling, going crazy. I'm like, come on, Zeus, let's go. Come on, boy, it's time to go home. And listen to me when I say this to you, my dog won't budge. He's intent on holding back whatever the hell, at that point in time, he was seeing. His ears are pinned back, and Zeus is literally going crazy. Now pause right here in the story for a moment and let me explain to you a little bit more about what happened while we were out hiking so you'll understand what my wife said next. The entire time we were hiking, my wife kept telling me that she felt as if she was being watched and she wanted to leave. Fast forward to this moment in time, right here, right now, where you're with me, Zeus is barking and working his way back up the hill. My wife looks at me and says, honey, Get Zeus, we need to go. He's seeing something that we're not seeing, and I'm ready to go. So I take Cameron off of my shoulders, hand him to my wife, give her the keys to the vehicle, and the two of them begin to quickly walk downhill. In the meantime, I start heading back up that ridge to get Zeus. And as I'm headed back up that ridge is when I first see what the hell he is barking at. It looks like a massive black clump of fur low to the ground and at that point in time it was so far away I couldn't exactly tell you what it was but I knew I was definitely seeing it then it growls back and that growl sends this echo coming down that ridge louder than anything I've ever heard and if that wasn't scary enough that same black mass starts to move in my direction leaping and bounding down the ridge then Zeus takes off uphill full speed listen this thing was massive and was it fast oh my god I'm standing there thinking to myself I have a choice to make do I try and get Zeus or do I make sure my wife and my kid are back in the truck safely 
And as I'm making that decision, I see Zeus jumping into the air, trying to bite this thing. Understand, my dog man encounter didn't happen in the middle of the night where it was spooky. This happened in broad daylight. All I remember was this thick, matted black fur like someone had on a black wool coat and they poured syrup all over it. And these massive, I mean absolutely enormous eyes. Understand, I'm standing there, one foot pointing in the direction of my family, the other foot pointing in the direction of Zeus, who's now biting this massive beast on his hind legs, tugging and pulling, preventing it from coming in my direction. I 100% regret the decision that I had to make next, but it was a decision that I had to make. I ran as fast as I could down that ridge, catching up with my wife, snatching Cameron, getting back to the truck, putting both of them in the vehicle. And as I'm in the process of putting them in the vehicle, all you can hear is Zeus whimpering and yelping. Then silence. This panic and fear has set in. We're in the truck. My wife is hyperventilating, asking what's wrong, where's Zeus? But me, I'm just shocked by what I saw. All I could do was speed off. When we finally get back home, Cameron, my son, is asking for Zeus. And I explain to my wife what I saw and what happened. That's when she tells me that she believed she saw a Bigfoot while we were out walking. But this thing that I saw ran on all fours like a dog, like a giant black matted fur dog. It didn't go on two legs. And I need you to understand the emotional roller coaster that I found myself on just a couple of hours later as I sat at home. Understand, Zeus was more than just a dog to me. He was really my best friend. Part of me felt cowardly for not standing up to this creature. Another part felt appreciative that I was able to get my family home and that he was willing to sacrifice his life for us. But at the same time, I just was angry and I wanted vengeance. So two days later, my best friend Jordan and I go back to the area. This time, we're armed to the T, looking for Zeus. We find blood, we find fur, but no Zeus. And understand, that's my dog man encounter. It killed my dog. And ever since then, I've been trying to find it and kill it. And the closest I've come to being successful was one evening I decided to go back to the same area, set up a fake campsite. I got a tent out there. I got a fire rolling. I'm cooking bacon on an open flame in a skillet. I heard online that that was a way to draw out any cryptid in the area. Imagine a scene. I'm in a tree stand. The bacon is burnt. The grease is burning. It's about 9 p.m. I'm watching, waiting, and listening. And then the freaking woods go quiet. And out of the tree line walks a damn Bigfoot. So for those of you who are saying that Bigfoots aren't real, I can attest to the fact that they are real. This big son of a runs over, grabs the hot skillet, and takes off into the woods. But no dog, man. And I want to be clear with you. That did not look anything like what I saw on that ridge. There is a very distinct difference between the two of these monsters. It's been two years since my dog was killed. I still go to that area twice a month. and haven't seen it again. Now my wife says I need to let it go. But understand, Zeus was a gift from my father. And my father died of cancer. To me, it was like losing my father all over again. Listen, I couldn't kill my father's cancer. But I can damn sure kill Dogman. And I will. Not to get the body, not to prove it to science. I could give up about any of that. But it took a life that was dear to me. So I'm going to take its life. One way or the other. 